chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us take a few examples where a train crosses another train or a train crosses another bridge our first example is it takes 24 seconds for a train traveling at 93 kilometers per hour to cross entirely another train half its length traveling in opposite direction at this speed and passes a bridge in 66 seconds what is the length of the bridge in meters so in such types of questions we have been given two conditions in one condition a train crosses another train whose length is already given to us and in the second condition the same train crosses a bridge in certain time so two conditions are given to us we should now write the facts for both the conditions then we will be able to find out the length of the bridge in meters so let us now write the first condition which says that a train crosses another train half its length traveling in opposite direction in 24 seconds we can draw a diagram first of all this is one train this is coming from the opposite direction its length is half so we'll take that the length is l by 2 and it is traveling at a speed of 51 kilometers per hour in this direction and another train is coming from the opposite direction which is traveling at 93 kilometers per hour and the length of this train is l because the lengths of the two trains are given that the length of one train is l the other is half its length so two trains are moving in opposite direction we'll first of all set the equation that tells us what is the time taken by the trains to cross each other we already know from the well known case of two trains crossing each other that the relationship is written like this time to cross each other is sum of lengths sum of lengths divided by the sum of speeds of the trains as we saw in our previous lecture that this is the condition that will help us determine the time they will take to cross each other now what is the sum of lengths sum of lengths is l plus l by 2 and the sum of the speeds is 93 plus 51 which i write like this i've deliberately kept the units as kilometers per hour when the need arises i'll convert them back to meters per second this time has been given to us as 24 seconds so we'll write 24 is equal to this l plus l by 2 is what 1 plus 1 by 2 2 will be the lcm so 2 plus 1 it will be 3 l by 2 3l by 2 upon the sum of this is 144 in kilometers per hour which implies 24 into 144 now i will convert this into meters per second also simultaneously multiplied by 5 by 18 so that 144 becomes in meters per second and 3l by 2 this is equal to 3l by 2 I have to find out L because I have an opportunity of obtaining L here. So what I'll do is I'll take two to that side, bring three down. So for the purpose of calculation, I'm writing it at this space: twenty-four into one forty-four into five into two by eighteen into two. So this is what I have to do that calculation. This is three, not two. So eighteen goes by eight. and 3 will catch this one so 64 multiplied by 10 that gives me l is equal to 640 meters that is one thing which i have got right now i hope you are clear about what i have done here i have simply put the values into the formula time is equal to sum of lengths by sum of the speeds this is speeds we did it right but only wrote it wrongly here so time was given to us as 24 so 24 is equal to 3 l by 2 l plus l by 2 divided by 144 in kilometers per hour from where i get 144 it is 93 plus 51 the sum of the speeds of the trains because they are moving in opposite direction 
this equation ultimately led me to the value of 640 meters. Now let us take up the second condition. The second condition says that the same train running at 93 kilometers per hour crosses a bridge in 66 seconds. If uh, crosses a bridge in 66 seconds, let this be the bridge. Let the length of the bridge be L, and the train is approaching, coming towards the bridge at 93 kilometers per hour, and this crosses this bridge in 66 seconds. Now, what is the time taken by the train to cross a bridge? That formula is well known to us. Time t is equal to length of the bridge plus length of the train which is already known to us as 640 the length of the bridge plus length of the train by the speed of the train which is 93 kilometers per hour. Now this time has been given to us as 66 we will put it as 66 so L will be equal to 66 into 93 multiplied by 5 by 18 because I know 93 is kilometers per hour so I will convert it into meters per second and then this 640 which was added to L plus this will be subtracted so I am writing it at this position. Now I have to just make these calculations. Let us see how to go about it. A table of 6, 6, 3, 6, 11. This is 3 table 31. So I have to then it becomes 11 by 155 and ultimately this will come to 1705 out of which I have to subtract 640 and that will be the answer. The answer is going to be 1065 meters. I will repeat what I have done here. I just took the formula for the time taken by a train to cross a bridge of length L. The formula is that the time taken is sum of the lengths of the train and the bridge. The bridge length is assumed L which we wanted to find out. So L plus 640 the length of the train we found out in this previous step then divided it by the speed of the train the rest was all mathematical calculation L plus 640 came equal to 66 multiplied by 93 converted into meters per second and then the, this 640 had to be subtracted I took it to the other side and ultimately that plus and minus that led to me this answer. So this is how we can do the most important thing is that these questions questions of this type are being asked in the SPI exam these days in these questions two cases are mixed up. So let us see another question in which we will see how we can use two cases that are mixed up to find our way out. This question says two trains of length 120 meters each cross each other in 12 seconds if they travel in the same direction. This is one condition that has been given to us but if they are traveling in opposite directions they take only 4 seconds. So basically I have two trains which are either moving in the same direction. In the first case I will write it as case 1 here. Write what I have available with me. The length of this train is 120 meters. Length of this train is also 120 meters. Both the trains are of length 120 meters. They take 12 seconds to cross if they travel in the same direction. Now what is the time taken by two trains to cross each other? The time taken is known to be sum of lengths of the train, sum of lengths divided by the difference of speeds. If the speed of this one train is u, the other train is v, then the difference will be v minus u. Why are we taking the difference? Because they are traveling in the same direction and the relative speed is going to be the difference of the speeds. v is the faster train because it is supposed to overtake this train that is traveling at u. Uh, meters per second. Let us put the figures given to us. T has been given as 12 which is equal to sum of the lengths is 120 add 120 divide by V minus U. So this gives me 12 is equal to 240 by V minus U and I can take V minus U to one side. V minus U is equal to 240 by 12 is equal to 20. This is one condition that I arrive at. I obtain a relation between the two speeds V and U. And now if I work my way towards the second condition that has been given, I will be able to like here it is given but if they are traveling in opposite directions, they take only 4 seconds. In case the two trains are traveling in opposite directions, like this is 120 meter train traveling at U and this is the train 
at traveling at v this is also 120 meters so how much time will they take to cross each other the formula in this case is also on the same pattern time taken t is equal to sum of lengths of the trains divided by the relative speed which is v plus u because the trains are moving in the opposite direction time in this case has been given to us as 4 seconds so i'll write 4 is equal to 120 add 120 divide by v plus u which gives 240 by v plus u i can take v plus u to the other side and bring 4 down so the equations become y plus u is equal to 240 by 4 which is equal to 60 this is the second equation that i have right now i have two equations v minus u is 20 v plus u is 60 what i want to find out is what is the speed of the faster train faster train as we already know is the one traveling at v we basically want to find out the value of v v minus u v plus u we can add these two equations when these two equations are added this u and this u will cancel out and v will be left in fact it will be v plus v 2v on the left side so i'll write 2v is equal to the figures on the right side are 20 and 60 add them you get 80 which implies v is equal to 80 by 2 is equal to 40 meters per second so this is the answer in this case we can see that it is quite simple if we isolate conditions given to us we were given two conditions one in which the trains were traveling in the same direction the other in which the trains were traveling in the opposite direction so when we wrote those conditions into our formulas then we got two equations one this one other this one and these two simultaneous equations were solved and we got the value of v which is the answer let us take another question chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again